I did my project here on SKF, which is a company that builds bearings for windmills, trains, and automotives. I interviewed my dad, and we were talking about how many plants there are, and that he works at the plant in Georgia. So the next thing that I talked to my dad about was the organization environment. And I looked at these, and I found them online, and I talked to my dad about them, and they are working on doing all of this. So the first thing they're trying to do is, by 2025, the climate and environment targets are focused on four areas. Raw material and components, SKF's own operations, good transportation, and customer solutions. And then by 2030, SKF is committed to having all their manufacturing operations around the world to be carbon neutral. So the next thing me and my dad talked about was the organization structure at their plants and at SKF in general. So the left picture here is the picture of SKF in general. So this is what each plant or factory reports to. And then the one that I on the right is what is in each individual plant, like my dad for my dad. So my dad's a line leader. So the people above him are factory managers, production managers, and channel managers. And then the people below him are machine operators. So my dad either reports to the production manager and the channel manager, and they report to the factory manager. And my dad also has people that report underneath him, which is the machine operators. The next thing me and my dad talked about was the organizational structure of the business. So we were talking and my dad said that they are both, they're trying to do both of these. What's the first thing they're trying to do is they're trying to merge each company into two industrial business areas, both into a new industrial market business. Which the first one is a strategic industries and the next one is regional sales and services, which I think regional sales and services is their main thing they're going to do. That's what my dad thinks too. And then the next thing is the they're later they will operate through three business areas, which is industrial market, automotive market, and specialty business, which is with the wind be windmill bearings and other bearings in general, which I think is what they're going to do mostly, and my dad thinks that's what they're going to do mostly. The next thing we talked about were the major functions, which is the knowledge about bearings. So the first type of bearing is a ball bearing, which is this picture, and they are for small machines like cars and small trucks. And then ball bearings, they carry loads, they reduce friction, and position moving machine parts. And the next kind of bearing is a roller bearing, which is this picture, and this is what my dad works on mostly. And they reduce friction, ret makes rotation smoother, protects the part that supports the rotation, and maintains the correct position. And these are made for like the big machines like windmills, trains, and the big trucks. Duh. And then later in the future, they're trying to do housing design. And then they're also sealing and lubrication for ready to mount units. The last thing we talked about were the challenges. And then the first thing is that my dad said was to reduce negative environmental impact. The next is to manage the opportunities and risks with climate change. And then my dad said the biggest one that they're working on is agriculture, which means bearings to be easy to install and replace with farmers because without farmers, they wouldn't have a business because farmers are 30% of their profits. And then they need something that re that is dependable component supplier that can deliver spare parts quickly and then the last thing is they're developing energy and carbon efficient product services and customer solutions so that it could be easier for customers and make it more environmental friendly